camera can't even see me. He can't see me. Yo, I got a fucking booger. Look away. Bitch. Look away. I'm fucking kidding. I'm fucking kidding. Let's go. Where are we going? Let's go. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's go. Let's let's go. Should be a, like a, a fucking thing that at uh, go sound, go sound, uh, HDMI sound, HDMI. No. No. Oh my god! Can't we get without the noob? No. Oh no! It's oh. oh. Karigan is insane. No biblioteca. No. I'm done. Bibli o. Take. Well, that's like O biblio. No, Bibli O. Bibli O. Oh, Bibli O. Oh, Bibli O. Bibli O. Bibli O. What the fuck's up with the A side? You draw better. Come on, man, that's not bad. No, I don't understand. Though. You get the gist of it. What? Here's highway, here's danger, here's you walk up there. Okay, so that's just, long. It's just small, but it's okay. It's just, yeah, condensed. Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay go ahead. Nat, why are you so critiquing? Come critiquing. On. Put all this effort in. <laughs> okay, we're, we're starting T side, so here's pistol. Now if you go here, just puppy. <laughs> I love this. It's, it's so good. Wait, you need to put axes, dude. Okay, now it goes here. We need no, we need, we need, no, we need different colors. We need labels. Yeah, we need colors. labels. There's, different only, colors. there's only brown. Do, uh, uh, no, there's more there. There's more over here. Letters. N, uh, R. <laughs> Nath goes here. And spots B. We got more colors. Stan, take our colors. Oh. <laughs> we need the color coordinated, dude. Memory you color. Don't, have to don't forget the color. same colors are as in game. Alright, you need to draw a label at the bottom and somehow I get a different color. We need, color. A, whole we need a key. We need, we need a key at the bottom. Okay, I'm not doing colors. Pay attention. Oh, this bullshit. So Nav comes here, spots B for like ten seconds, runs away, comes mid with everyone else. Uh, this is pistol. Yes. And then let's have Will just jump across mid, and then wait here, and then just jiggle between long and mid. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy like headshot. He's mowing spawn and flashing over so we can get him the sight and push. Yeah, okay, he's fine. I like that tree. Like a tree. Where's the tree? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what those are? Nice. The, the, the rocks? The yeah. rocks, yeah. Good pistol or any other? No, it's good. I like it. Okay. Uh, anti fill. Let's actually come up with a system. I mean, they can. can, they, they, can they, they just can, do a normal, like, they can, they can kill you before. Okay, yeah, make, make control then. Wait. And then just do the execute, the split, like, smoke headshot. And pink. Uh, okay, and after spotting B for not too long, we'll be start taking bathroom. You need to come here and watch along. Me? Yeah. So what am I doing? I'm outside B and then I come back and I just watch your Once bathroom. they go up the stairs, you leave and then come watch along. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then like once you probably take over along or like B. Yeah, I can save my molly for it. Yeah, because then once we're all here, now we have four here, and then you'll just be here, up. and then Oscar and Wolf or Oscar and Terry can go highway with me, and then you can go along as well. Uh, this is my opinion. Stanislaw is going to start it off, though. DD goes down a lot of pressure into that lower stairwell early on. This isn't surprising. They just talked about that aggressive force off they want to play with, and now they're getting all headshots as well. Yeah, the recovery coming in from Captain Mo here, but it's a little bit too late. Four on one, just going to be poor old attacker now. And he's got four angry terrorists to hold off here. He's going to be in towards the bathroom area. Could get the drop on a couple of the players here. And we're not... That was interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, position. Tara can't get the refrag at all, but this boost is the recovery. Maybe Tara can do something about it. It's going to be Stanislaw falling on the other side. They have a good reaction from Rush. Does make it a winnable situation. His next frag, very important. Tara gets the opportunity to get the kill. Brings it down to a three on three. We have got Fancy and Didi, who are low HP as well. There we Boost go. in the back is lovely. Perfect play from Tara. He's able to get to the truck as well. Transfer them around. Manipulate with the low HP as well on Didi if he goes again. Doesn't want to overcommit too much. He's getting his teammates into position in the meantime. Good flash. Over and he lines them. It's actually Nafly that hits the second, but perfect play nonetheless from Optic. Smart so good because I was about to say he's covering off that position if they push through it. Instead, he just opens up with a kill. Good trade from Stanislaw over toward B. That's going to limit them. Funnel them all the way in toward A. And position from Mixwell too good. Now watch to his right because he's 
Got Fancy in behind him. He doesn't find him in time. There's no one there yet to trade, but good pickup. He's going to win that duel, Tarek. It's going to win the match. 16 to 9, Optic. Let me. Can I try? The Counter Strike qualifier was very, very important. I was watching, as you guys saw in my vlogs, I was watching it every step of the way. Every single game that was on, I was watching, I was keeping track of it. Um, because it's very important to make it to the qualifier. It's very important to make it to the to to the second, you know, United States qualifier. Last year was the first with MLG. This year is E League, uh, and it's going to be sick. I don't know whether it'll be televised or not, but you know, E League has done a very very good job, and I commend them for it. They 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 know their shit. Obviously, they've been in the industry, the television industry, for a very long time. So they you know they 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 know how to throw events. Wow. 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 So we been. I think we've been a couple. You think or you know? Well then... Uh, we get two of you just two. Yeah. Ben. <laughs> ben Mirage. Ben Cash. So it's random? Yeah, random. Yeah. So let's do this. So it's Nick and Overpass. Oh, it's because I'm all tagged. Alright, so Nuke's gonna be heads, overpass is tails. Alright, flipping it. Tails. Yeah. Tails it is, overpass. Call it. Yes. So Optic gets to choose side. Nuke and Death 2. I was mad for a second there. It was, uh. Really? And we got overpassed at the random? Yeah, like, fuck. Nice. Yeah, we lucked out a little bit. I mean, we, we fucking... Yep, we blocked. So. Well, and that goes outside B. I mean, the room right there, so... That's going to go outside B and right there the whole time. Everyone else runs this way. Well, you guys... Device, smoke, flash, flash. And just stay here. The whole time just jumping mid. Yeah, the wall. And, yeah, and the rest of us are on playground. We go long. And then CT pistol. Uh, Wait, wait, where's a, a good flash? Like, this is like the hot, right? This is short. It's anywhere over it. Like, this is the door. Yeah, another little platform where you're still coming from. Yeah. Or do you, or do you jump down? I, I, I'm against the sign. Okay, then. Yeah, just throw it over that hot. Sure. And then CT pistol. Uh, was it too high? Almost holding its oil now. Okay, so the deep is full. Let's just play retake B. And then, so I think they're going to rush long. Like what we're going to do. He's sneaking in behind the connector. This is such a great play. He's going to get the kill on Stanislaw. And now the smoke goes down from Rush. Try and see if they can get that defuse in. Mixwell still doing work. Getting a kill. Nafly gone. Mixwell, fourth kill for him. And now he's going to go for the defuse. AC, can he stop it? He picks up one. And now he's got the triple. Mixwell on the other side looking for the ace. They're just starting back and forth. It'll be the quad kill for AC to save it for Face Clan. So many flashbangs all over the place. And the Molotov as well. Rush, not a chance there. Mixwell, 2-1-4, last round, Mixwell trying to get some sort of shot in, but he goes down to Kerrigan, Terry, 1-4, but hiding in the smoke on the other side, he's going to get the one kill, and that's a good job, but I don't think it'll be anything else here, gets the one with the tech knife, follows it up, takes down AZ, how is he not dead yet, Alu on the other side, Terry gets the headshot, you've got to be kidding, he picks up four kills, that's impossible, have three men already on the site waiting, Kiyoshima's gone, AZ's gone, 
I guess it doesn't matter how many men you have winning when that happens. Carrigan next in line, rain a fall, and a flawless round from Optic Gaming. That was an Islaw, but it will be Rush who picks up a kill with the Tech 9. They don't have any armor on anyone outside of Stan, and he's out of the round, so pretty easy kills coming in here for Alu and Carrigan. Walk all the way out, there comes the grenade. Tarek looking for the shot, but he can't make it. Carrigan instead now clocking in at 29 kills. Instead, they're not going to go ahead. They're, they're just going to be sticking. They're not going to stick around, rather. That's what I'm trying to aim for here. Instead, it's Alu pulling a mix well. Hits the shot on Stannis Law, and there's the man advantage for FaZe. Now he's sticking around. Is that really wise? They have a four on five. They don't need to do that much. Alu going to hit the headshot on Mix well, going for another one. That's a triple kill for the Finnish sniper. That is just a star performance from Carrigan. Kind of tough to, to go toe to toe with that. Kerrigan with the guys backing him up all of with a remarkable play here. 30 seconds left in the round for Tarek to try and find an angle here. He might be able to catch out Kiyoshima. But Kiyoshima's turned the rifle away, and so Tarek doesn't know he's holding close pillar. Kiyoshima's gonna find one and two. Yeah, but you were on site still. I'm talking about yeah. the rounds where yeah, like we went behind the smokes. Smoke. Then yeah, it was completely we behind the smoke. Yeah, when we smoked time, oh, jump up, and you, you went, went through the smoke. Oh, you were here tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You killed one and died. Just a couple of rounds, we had 3 8. Well, honestly, like, we got 9 6, we won the solo. And then the first gun round they won, they got lucky. Like, what was it? The first gun round they won, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, they had two guys alive. It could have. I mean, he jumped just in front of Stan, and saw you and killed you through the smoke. Yeah, I was fucking so random. I was gonna back, literally as I was backing up, he like two shot me. I was backing up to play bomb, and he two shot me. Somebody actually chose uh, to ban Zekin. Who? Uh, I forgot who it was. Here? Yeah, yesterday. Jesus. I think it was Immortals. I don't know why. What's up? Um... I'll bomb the train. Little randomizer. All right, cash heads over past tails. <laughs> oh no, oh cash. my god! Fire. You want it? No, it's over past tails. Okay. Sides. CT. CT. All right. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good once you throw your smoke, you're yeah, gonna go out with the gonna going down as well go shortly. Me? Okay. Well, I work up door. Then I have a molly for the bomb. Yeah. Okay, well then plant normal then. So I can molly up the sign. Yeah, it's like this, right? Okay, so CT pistol number one. We're gonna feed monster, and then he's gonna run away to barrel, and we have two barrels. So one guy's hiding barrel fully, and the other guy's fighting to the death at barrel. So if he dies, then the other barrel guy should get two kills in the side of the head. And then the other guy is graffiti. And then at A, there's just like one guy uh, peaks mid and then runs away highway, and the other guy's long A. So you want to stay aggro? No, stay like. You can stay SWAT and bank, but oh, okay. don't run away. Or even like default or whatever. And then Mac will be graffiti, and then. Uh, well, now we'll You can do those. Better. You can hide all the fighting. Okay. Since you're at extra angle, do you mind getting kids smoke? That's fine. Okay. When they don't get long control, it's because they are getting short control. And when they are getting long control, they don't have short control. Maybe, uh, Matt, you know, just if they take short and we hear a flash, maybe you can flash as soon as their flash pops, and then one night can peek. What is it again? Like, the way he said they take short is they just rush the tunnel and mm -hmm. flash. So as soon as you hear a flash, you can flash over. Yeah, Forrest and Exist are left, both over by the L bend. They've got eye on the bomb if they need it. Still, the kit's been picked up here by Nafly. Mixwell trying to find that shot on Forrest in the corner. Nobody's defusing yet. This is taking forever. Forrest going to be going down. And finally, they'll have to turn around Nafly on the defuse. And it's actually a flawless retake from Optic. There's a grenade going in. Sorry, the HE grenade. And Nafly going to come charging through, taking out Forrest, getting another kill. That's Rush helping out to take down Exist. And now it's all on Freiburg. And he's isolated in the corner. Stanislaw taking him down. And NIP, how did they do so little damage in that retake? Gets tagged down to 23. No return from him. Forrest is down as well. It's not looking good for NIP. Rush will finish the round with a very smooth triple kill there.
They've rotated almost everyone out of this B bomb side. Stan gonna be going down next in line. Rush on the bomb side. He's gonna pick up one kill. He's got so many multi kills. There's another headshot coming in. Freiburg going down. Rush is doing such a lot of work for Optic right now. There it goes. Not gonna be effective on Rush. Certainly effective on Freiburg, but it doesn't matter. There are too many bodies here. 1v2, 1v1. How has Mixwell turned this around? Two headshots, and it's on Exist now to clutch it. Another 1v1 situation here between both of these teams, and Mixwell is gonna make the jump out to safety. Exist, does he have the time? And it doesn't seem like it. What is this, though? Mixwell is a crazy person. Wait. Imagine if Exist just went for the defuse immediately. Mixwell, we couldn't do anything. Exist, he's gonna be on it, but Mixwell, the timing is simply god tier. And that's the quad kill to save the round of the gaming. They bring it back to 14 here with Mixwell decimating NIV. It's a good time to change. Perfectly timed flash there to take down Freiburg. Opens it up, but Exist is there to hold. He picks up two kills, still alive, and manages to make it back in the water. Get right trying to buy time, and he still gets a kill out of that as well. And Nip showing that they're not out of this yet. The three players alive on B certainly putting up quite a fight. Stanislaw's flanking in behind, so if, if Rush can just stay alive right now, if he doesn't get taken out first, maybe Stanislaw can actually do this. Exist not being found yet. Rush almost getting the kill. There's the one on Exist. And now comes Stan in just at the right time. 14 seconds left. They're going to get the bomb plant down. Stan up on the side of this. He gets the one kill in. Pipe shooting him in the back. There's one kill and Rush gets the headshot for the triple. 16 to 9 and 27 kills on Rush. Oh yeah. He's good. Okay, Dad, we got all three of those. Should be good, Listen, you underhanded it and it went it bounced. I, I agree. It's not no, right. but you're supposed to throw it. You don't underhand it. If you throw it, if you underhand it, it takes like five seconds to land. Yeah, but if you throw it, it literally just time if you throw it, it just lands on the yeah, floor right bounces, away. It bounces though. And that's not supposed to. It usually never does. That's why I'm saying it glitched. And then you're yelling at me like, no, no. dude, it comes right as he peeks too. Wait. Oh! <laughs> oh! He had armor too. Yeah. Oh. Seventy-five damage. That's fucking. I know the back of the neck. There it is. He, he, doesn't, see, he doesn't see shit, bro. Yeah. Oh, I'm on a three, two. Look, there's someone moving too. Waiting to it too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now that we we all know that I hit the fucking molly. Is there anything else that anyone wants to see? Bitch. Okay. Show you my stupid ass fucking bottle. Fucking knock this bottle out. Don't don't look at it. Don't look at it. Did you edit that? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hard to balance, dude. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Rush! Let's go! Get it! God damn it! Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> keep walking, keep walking. Don't try anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no one's touch shit, bro. <laughs> That's like 12k right there, bro. Now flash over mid, come out. Be careful of this, and then Tarek will flash here. And you go Z to enter. Right, I'm flashing high though. Yeah, behind me, let's move the other way. Tiny. He should be flashed. Just poke you. No, mine, mine, will, mine will land closer, I'm pretty sure. So, where are the in mid guys going? He's flashing like this. Where are they going? Yeah, I'm flashing like that. So you. Did they throw that when they're running up the wall? Where are you guys going? You going Z2? I don't know. You can go Z or you can go up ladder. So check, you need to... That somebody's gonna push aggro, trying to look for info, and that he's gonna get a free kill out of it. He might be able to take out Angel here, and he does hit the shot. Angel's just out in the open. And there is no smoke to block him off. The Molotov is gonna be used to try and buy some time. But this, now, how does Zero actually get in here to retake? One versus two. Flashbangs are all used, and he turns the corner just as Rush walks out. That's going to be a triple kill for Rush, and a one round for Optic Gaming. Hellraisers, they can still buy, but still, that's a tough round to give away. Oh, he puts a smile on my face. God sent qualified already. So that's it, they're going to the major. Oh, Rush opening up on Angel. Not the best start for Hellraisers. They need this round, and Tarek, he's going to be falling back. Doesn't take that much damage. The bomb is being attempted right now. It's going to go down, but they're still in the 3v5. These clocks need to come into play, and it has to happen right now. The first engagement on the retake going through. Rush picking up one more kill, and that's all going to be over. Nafly with a double. Rush with a triple. That's going to be it. A fight for the defuse, in fact. You see, Rush is so disappointed. You get those extra points on the scoreboard? Aaron Bondig are now in a lot of trouble, and Hellraiser's almost definitely are running out of rounds here. Bondig, 11 health left, and 
He's gonna be going down to Tarek, picking up another double kill and putting himself at 20. I mean, this is still a really close field in the in the kill departments. They are, I mean, Stan is at 19, Rush is at 19. All of them are doing a really good job. This is just confusion now at this point. Yeah, that, like, literally confusion. They, 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 they're, 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 they seem a bit lost right now, but they are going to go for the push after all. It is delayed. Hellraisers, everything on the line now. And Tarek, ruthless, sprays down two. Bonnick and Steiko will pick up a kill, but then Rush is still alive on the site. And he's going to get the final kill of this map. 16-10 scoreline in the end for Optic, and they're going through to the Major at the end of January. Uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another another piece in the puzzle for this team. Not only making it to the major, but you know, getting out of groups and then getting legend status is like super imperative for us at this at this moment in time. It's all about it's all about the steps you take to get somewhere. And and right now, that's our next step, uh, making it to legends, so we don't have to compete or try to qualify for the next major. Just being invited to it is going to be amazing. Um, and hopefully, this is going to be the first time that, that we can make it into Saturday Sunday. Um, which means that there's going to be, you know, a lot more opportunity to get different stickers, and that's always a fun thing. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, this this weekend also that there was a there was a tournament, another tournament in Vegas. It was Gears of War. Our team played. Our team won. Now we're walking up. Small mistakes weren't helping anything, and by small mistakes, we had a moment of Saints basically just fell straight off the map for no apparent reason. Not sure if his controller hicked up or something, but <laughs> kind of falls off the map. Now, granted, Slack ends up clutching that round for them with a big play from the rewind. But really, the big difference to me was just that Allegiance was able to read Luminosity so early. LG got that that early lead. The Allegiance was like, look at look at this. This is what they're doing. They even saw it in game five. They kept going to the same bomb. So all you're doing is editing a name, changing the name on it. All you're doing is changing the name on the camera. So just do a name change on it. Fight. It's gonna be interesting. Formal though is gonna be able to pick up. Formal! And he's gonna go for the third as well. Shredding right now is Optic Gaming. Green Wall come out on top. And how like happy of a game for that. Like if you're an Optic Gaming fan as well. So. Second half, we play different. It's just like every map we have someone that doesn't do good. We can't, we can't have that. 
We weren't listening either, dude. When literally we could have counter dunked it when I, I was screaming, playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it, and for some reason we tried to go back. Literally, there was one guy tank, and it was a one on one. Oh yeah, they they were literally three connectors. Yeah, the, the first guy, like our first guy, they were like, like three connector on our side of connector. Yeah, there's no reason to. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying when they were when they got the last down below side. When we all down. literally all four of us were in blue at one point, ball was like inside the ship. They're getting that point no matter what. There's no reason fucking. It was just dumb. Yeah, well, going into the 2K, I mean, it was the only. I guess real competitive thing we got to play at that point, other than scrims and I guess the opening S and D tournament. So we really didn't have, uh, I guess, a real gauge on where we stood within everybody because we'd only really played LG and they kind of smacked us up sometimes. But then we would do the same, and then we never scrimmed phase. Um, we scrimmed MV, and we we were kind of smoking them. So the 2K really just gave us an idea of how well we were doing and. Honestly, I, I don't really think our performance at the event showed how good we are. Like, I still think we're really good and, you know, people might think, oh, they're cocky. I, I've just read so many stupid things like, they didn't play, they're cocky, they think they're the best. And it's like, dude, I played H1Z1 like every day for a month when Black Ops 3 was over. And the last month I've only played H1Z1 like three days and it's just been strictly IW. I think the everything that happened before the event with patches, weapon changes, I think that kind of put a stint or stunt, whatever you call it, in our, in our performance, I guess, just because I was talking to someone earlier and I, I was saying that we went into the tournament Friday and we didn't have an OSA and we lost a Rise basically because Bryce destroyed us and obviously he ended up being the MVP and destroyed the whole event with the OSA. So then we were like, we ended Saturday and we're like, okay, Seth, you gotta run the OSA. And what do you know, we play E6, and we play a completely different game. You know why? Because instead of one OSA, there were three OSAs, even four at a time. So it was like, all the practice with the K-Bar online, the whole time, I'm using K-Bar MV4, nowhere near, not even touching an OSA. Get to the event and it was changing day to day. It was like the deeper you got into the tournament, the more OSAs you played. So I think that kind of really affected us and it definitely set us back on Friday and definitely didn't help us when we played E6, which ended up put us in the loser's bracket, so. Yeah! 
trying to close out this one. All they need is one more round to even up this series at one apiece, but I'm not going to anyone in the spawn and hitting this one. This is what we saw Rise do a lot with Ascento. He would basically play on the side by himself. He gets a plant. He's going to have reactive. I'm curious how he's going to end up playing this. He gets it. Does he play it safe or is he going to push? Looks like he's just backing up for now. And the first blood does come in for Optic Gaming. They've got control. Ruiz will be the one to drop. Scum finds one. Pops the kinetic. Finds two assists. It's Karma that cleans it up. And now it is all on general. But you got to find four. He's gone. Optic Gaming back at the series, tying it up at one to one. Seven seconds of scraps should be going into their favor, and I think they're just going to close it out here. A couple of players dropping from E6, a third from Formal. One more player spotted at this front bar. They should have this rotation. One, one more second, and that's it. Off the gaming one, now makes two to play phase. Uh, well, one, I think the fans, fan wise, probably, probably double the course of the game is this was the first one. It's a, it's a tough loss for E6, but let, let's talk a little bit from their side. How impressed are you with the uh, community's with the considering? Above 30 seconds, I'll just flank through red, go top red, and just shoot them in the back. Uh -huh. If it's like, if it's under 30 seconds, I won't do that because I'll influence the spawn. But if it's over 30, I just flank them and shoot them in the back all the time. The only thing, dude, when we're going to that uh, the back blue hill, just don't, don't, don't even rotate blue. You don't even have to go there. Yeah. Because no, chances yeah. of them going yeah. through, like there might be. That's one why guy. I was confused. Oh, yeah, right. They were, they stopped hitting it at like 15 both times, yeah. and I was like, why the fuck are you guys giving it up? It's a scrap hill now. No, so. they were, they were just done. That's what I'm saying, bro. That team's all momentum. Right whenever we fucking, yeah. Right whenever we beat them on those two maps, yeah. they were gone. Yeah. Dude, I got hella hyped though. Right off the rip of, of Scorch, I got a I three just, piece. Like, wasn't yeah. I was like, oh, they're I think done. It's the O side. And then I just, I, and then I just started getting that entire on. Scorch, dude. I ran into like an O Supreme and me. Yeah. Definitely use the O side on like. One at a time at this point, boys. It's one at a fucking time, buddy. Phase next. Deep. We need you upstairs. You know, when when uh, Optic and Face uh, play against each other, it's gonna be there's always gonna be like this huge rivalry. Obviously, the Clayster. Uh, rivalry with with optic because you know he was on our team and and, and then he went on to play with face well with with the wolf pack first and then and then with face um it's always gonna be there you know uh and and, and clay's the type of hype player that he if, if, when he's on your team he hypes you up when you're across from him he pisses you off um not me obviously the players i love, love clay it was it was hype it was the first time that we played on LAN on, in call of duty in over 14 months so for us it it, it, it was good. One play from Faze's bed, it will sneak around back. That's a good play, no in favor of Optic Gaming. 25 points away, and they will make the comeback. Reeks being used perfectly by Scump. The first gun fight won again by the green wall. Scump turns around, he's got help from Crim6 and crew. Is this going to happen, Chance? 248 to 235. Faze has one final push. Entry kill by Enable. Karma can't answer back. Zuma and crew storming on in. Faze have done it. 250 to 238, and oh my god, this series does not disappoint. The hype from Attach and crew, as they know how important that map one was. See if they can convert their first offensive round of the game across the map. Is Formal possibly about to get in an engagement here? Two versus two. Formal now double positive. The game have to focus on the objective. Off the game being very patient right now. They only have 30 seconds, and it looks like they're going to rotate Ooh. into the road. Phase is one step ahead for the moment, but it's gonna come out. He's gonna fight for him. He's gonna have a player right in front of him. It looks like Clayton's able to get down with the Skump there. Is there for the trade? 1v1 Skump with the Osa comes out on top. Is it T2P? I think it is. Away from Clayster and he's realizing Optic Gaming are here and somehow two kills for Phase. Krim answers with one of his own. Optic Gaming in the two versus three. They're gonna back on him. Karma will challenge. Two versus two. There's one player just on the other side. Krim6 gets the kill as well. It's a 1v2. Clayster by himself. He's pinned in the corner. One on one. Karma gets the kill. And look at Skump in the camera's face. Optic Gaming on the shot. Oh, this rivalry makes me happy.
happy to be an American. Everyone on Optic spawning where they want to, but you know what? Clayster says it's time to throw the audible. They go for the field push. Clayster still has overdrive. It's absolutely possible for them to still get a score. Opening kill there for Enable. He gets the two-piece. Crim6 trying to hold again. It's an overdrive push. Four dead on Optic Gaming. Face begins to run. Nine seconds left. Do they go for the win? It can be the Dutch. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Face win it in the final moments! Face can win off his hard point. Desperation time. Optic Gaming needs to go. Close game towards the end. Two players can be pushing in for mid. But all the kills going in favor of Face. Grimsic trying to stay alive. He's able to pick up one. He checks though, cleans them up. Just seven seconds away, and Face is going to take it down. And that is not enough. Optic Gaming, they have to sprint it to Hill. And that is your game. Ladies and gentlemen, Face Clan taking down Optic Gaming three games to one. That sets the tone for this year of Infinite Warfare, folks. Phase move on to 3 1 series victory as the green wall crumbles here on Championship Sunday at the CWL Vegas Open. Zoom was mid. The other two just hit wall run and got a three. They killed three of us in Hill. Attach killed two and enable killed one. And then they just fucking held it like that. Well, it's crazy. It's like, it's almost like the opposite of champs that happened this event. Going into it, we were pretty good at hardpoint. And I think people questioned our search. And then come Sunday, we were really good at search, for the most part. But we couldn't win a hard point. <laughs> I think just like I said, the biggest thing going in this event was like, you practiced with one thing, got to the event, and it was different Friday. And then we used different things on Saturday. And then Sunday, we were like all, we were all into the zone, you know, everybody, we pretty much had it down, what guns we were gonna run, what we were gonna do, and it just little mistakes were the difference, so. I mean, I don't really feel bad, but. We just gotta come out and win some hard points. I wish you missed this. Me sticking a camera in your face. About as much as I missed that. <laughs>